Hello everyone, this is Surya from the product marketing team at Sideboard. Welcome to the second video of a series of three videos that I'm doing to cover the audience export feature in Sideboard. Today, we'll have a look at the latest enhancements done to the audience export feature from a developer and a technical user perspective. We start by creating a new audience export. Click on the create export and choose between a full export or a delta export. We are doing a full export in this example. The next step is to name the export. After naming the audience export, choose the segment that you want to use for a particular audience export. The next step is to define the output format of the audience export and we'll be using a JSON export this time. Defining the data export is straightforward. You can add a column by choosing if the column will be a string or a number, the title of the header and the attribute value of the data that you want to fetch. Now we switch to the JavaScript section and add the JavaScript code based on the data that we want to export. In our case, we'll be using JavaScript to fetch the date of the latest event creation for the audience in the segment. This data is available on the data tab, hence we are using JavaScript code to extract the same. The programmable in this case fetches the events from the latest session and then takes the latest event from events and from that event it takes the created at attribute to get the date of its creation. Through this way, we'll know when the latest event happened. The notification tab lets you know how to reuse the attributes from the JavaScript tab, which is simply by using JS result. Now in the attribute value of the output structure section, we are going to say created at and hit save. The new audience export workflow enables you to test and run an audience export. Testing involves previewing the export for a single case. A successful test indicates that the output structure is correctly configured. The run functionality in audience export enables you to run an audience export instantly instead of scheduling an audience export and waiting for it to finish. If there are any errors, you can debug and check the same before scheduling the audience export as well. In our case, the audience export is successful and we can immediately download the export without having to schedule the export and wait for it to finish. Now let us see how to debug errors in the new audience export flow. I'll go back to the output format and voluntarily make a change in the JavaScript code to create an error scenario. Now when I test the audience export, you will see that we have not got an output, but instead we got an error and the reason for the same. You can also switch to the log section to see the error log as well. Lastly, now when I proceed to run the audience export, you will see the export has run with errors. The status of the export also shows exported with errors. You can click on the view export report see what has happened with the export error and the count can be seen in the execution report along with the log for the same as well lastly now let us look at the scheduling process of an audience export inside CDP. you can add an email notification and set up connections to send a web hook notification when an audience export is completed now when you click on schedule you can choose how often you want the export to run choose between daily weekly and monthly you can also choose from three different run times which are utc based Lastly, you can decide on when you want to start and end the audience export. You can also choose to run the audience export forever. Once you have the audience export scheduled, you can go into the notifications tab and update your emails for receiving notifications if you want to. You can also resend the last notification to notify a connection tool like Sitecore Connect for instance, instead of having to rerun the audience export all the time and wait for a few minutes to trigger a job upon its completion. Finally, you can pause the audience export as well whenever needed. You can easily restart them too without any hassle. In the next video, we'll show how to export a segment using connections with an end-to-end -end use case. See you in the next one. If you found the video to be useful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the Discover Sideco YouTube channel. Thanks.